Hello everyone, welcome back today. Behavior has released a quick bug fix just before the six year anniversary event. That is 6.0.1. Uh, it's mostly to release the anniversary of the Twisted Masquerade, but also to fix a few decently known or tentatively fix a few decently known bugs. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to let you all know that we do stream throughout the week on twitch.tv slash parkless. So come on by, hang out, ask your questions, have some fun. Every Thursday is community day where we do survive with chat. So if you want to join us for some silly games, by all means, come on in. Um, well, let's get into this. If you like what you see, make sure you like the video. If you don't like it, don't like it. Let me know any comments down below of what you want to talk about from the bug fix or dbd in general but content twisted masquerade six anniversary limited time event start time has shifted now june 16th at 11 30 a.m it was supposed to be at 11 but they pushed it back with this uh patch bug fixes tentatively fixed an issue that caused lag while navigating the loadout menu tentatively fixed an issue that could cause survivors crawl speed to be higher than normal fixed an issue that could occasionally cause the game to crash while teleporting as the dredge fixed an issue that could occasionally cause the game to crash when playing against the huntress or the trickster fixed an issue that caused the dredge's very rare twisted plaything outfit to stretch during its Apparition in menus, all platforms except Steam and Epic. Fixed an issue that allowed blood point offerings to be displayed in custom game loadout presets. Uh, fixed an issue that caused some tabs in the UI to display broken background images when the tab text was short. Fixed an issue that could cause the game manual list of entries to scroll too slowly on some platforms. Fixed an issue that caused, uh, fixed an issue that sometimes caused the cannibal's chainsaw to be silent for survivors. Fixed an issue that caused survivors to continue their injured grunt SFX when fully healed themselves using the solidarity perk. Fixed an issue that caused two impa impact SFX to be heard when the dredge is breaking a wall. Fixed an issue that caused an incorrect surface FF SFX to be played when a specific part of the Garden of Joy hook is hit by the killer. Fixed an issue that caused the SFX and VFX nightfall warning to be missing when the killer injures a survivor right before the notification threshold. Fixed an issue that caused the dredge's smoke to be missing. Fixed an issue that caused dredge to be visible when teleporting to a locker. Fixed an issue that caused the entity spikes on blocked lockers to sometimes disappear when looking at them from higher ground. Fixed an issue that caused survivors to pop forward during the locker grab animation when the dredge teleported to a locker with a survivor inside. Fixed an issue that caused part of the dredge to clip through the camera when exiting a locker immediately after teleporting to it. Fixed an issue that caused the dredge's vignette during nightfall to des desaturate the killer uh, desaturate the killer instinct and loud noise notifications. Fixed an issue that caused the dredge to be blinded by blinding items, firecrackers, flashbangs, flashlights, while teleporting to a locker. That hasn't happened to me yet, but I would either be very impressed or very pissed if that happened to me. Fixed an issue that caused the undetectable smoke VFX to be visible for a few seconds when the dredge exits a locker during nightfall. Fixed an issue that could cause the blindness and exhausted status effect from the fearmonger perk to stay on survivors after they stop preparing a gen. Interesting. I wonder if that's why everybody started running fearmonger. Fixed an issue that caused survivors within five meters of a locker and in the dying state to trigger the dredge's lavalier microphone add-on. Fix an issue that caused survivors to suffer from the exposed status effect for the whole nightfall duration if the last generator is repaired during the end of nightfall with the dredge's iridescent wood plan and field recorder add-ons. Uh, that's supposed to make it so that uh, they can be one down for the last 12 seconds. 
fixed an issue that caused the From the Deep Achievement trophy on Sony platforms to gain progress when the dredge is hiding in a locker and the survivor interacts with it. Fixed an issue that caused the dredge to have no animation on the match result screen when the match ends while it was in a locker. Fixed an issue that caused the aspect ratio black bars to disappear when the dredge is in a locker. Fixed an issue that could cause survivors to get stuck when searching a locker as the dredge is teleporting to it with high packet loss. Fixed an issue that could cause survivors to get in a broken state inside the locker if the killer is stunned by another survivor using the head-on perk when searching a That is oddly specific. So they fixed an issue that could cause survivors to get in a broken state inside of a locker if the killer is stunned by a second survivor that used the head-on perk when searching a locker. All right. Fixed an issue that allowed characters to get on top of some crates and buckets by dropping down from the second floor of the main building of Coal Tower. We actually did that last night. Fixed an issue that caused an invisible collision blocking the hole in the second floor of Badham Preschool maps. Good. Fixed an issue that caused the old Ghost Faces Chase music to be played again. Fixed an issue that caused the play with your food perk not to consume a token. That's never happened to me. Uh, when injuring a survivor using a possessed chain with the Cenobites Engineer's Fang add-on. Fixed an issue that caused the overlap trophy description not to be translated in certain languages. PS5 only. Known issues. Yes, we've known them. Some players are experiencing rubber banding since 5.7.0. This issue is being investigated. It's been being investigated for like six months. Players on console might experience crashes when starting a tutorial bot match before fully download the game. It says, yes, starting a tutorial bot match before fully download the game. To work around the issue, wait for the game to fully download it before starting the tutorial bot match. I know they're Canadian, but wait for the game to fully download it. I mean, I guess they, they got tired and it's all right. Anyway. Those are the patch notes for the bug fix patch 6.0.1. We all hate reading. I know you hate reading. I hate reading, but somebody's got to do it. So we read it for you. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, uh, let me know down below if you liked it. Hit that like button for me. Um, if no one told you yet today, we love you all very much. And remember, stay safe out there in the fog.